Five here, what up, what up? Checking out the new trailer for the second time. Um, they brought Testament back as a girl? This is what Capcom did when they brought Seth back as a female. I have to admit, I like a female Testament more than a male Testament. Say what you will about that. Um, but before we get into this trailer, let me get a round of the announcements out the way, and then we'll come back and break down this trailer. First, they announced that there are going to be a four character season pass that's coming up, drawn by Daisuke himself. The second season will also have crossplay between PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Steam. Uh, I think the additional story mode is coming here in season one, and the fifth character of season one is what you're obviously looking at on the screen. Is also supposed to be coming a new stage in the form of the White House. So, that's the, the up news, the major parts of the uh, news coming for uh, Season 2. So, with that out of the way, let's take another look at this trailer. So, is Testament the most exciting character on Planet Earth to end Season 1 with? I don't necessarily think so at all. <laughs> However, she is a classic and she was one of the first boss type characters I ran into when I first played Guilty Gear. Anyway, let's take a look at her uh, fighting style. So, let's take a look at it. Okay. Got a good jump in. Uh, additional reversal to protect herself. That's a good uh, anti-air. And projectile follow-up. Be useful. Clashing. Ah. One of her moves is also a hit, but it's... Okay. She can play the projectile game well, as we can tell. Poor Kai. Yeah. A lot of lows. Oh, yes. Oh, my. That's quite the juggle and follow up. That's nice. So, what she got for uh, good old Zotto. Now, that's going to be a potential problem. Because, much like that last move, it seems like she can do a mix up. She can control which way that monster head comes out of the ground, whether it's up or low. That definitely makes for some uh, easy mix-up material. Because that, that's, that's truly a 50-50, right? <laughs> that is truly a 50-50 in that case. Yeah. She's doing that. How are you doing that? She's high or low? Yeah, you know now, but you know when you're fighting them, that's it's hard to deal with. Well, that's quite the dusk attack. Easy to recognize and easier to block because it's so much more distinct. What did she have for random fall? Let's see. Uh, going for your super. Oh, that's classic too. That's classic. Okay, she has an invincible startup super. Maybe it's a uh, payback for our Ramoth Falls instant startup super. I think that would be fair. <laughs> the happy chaos. Okay. Now, she was a character who used to be a he, and a little bit of Testament's backstory is that he was protecting Dizzy. I'm wondering how they're going to fix that story-wise. This is probably his mom, sister, though I don't know who this is going to be, or Testament reincarnated, whatever. It's a better design, a better looking design for the character. And again, we have the season with information that we came talking about before. She'll be out March 31st, March 28th for season whole passes. And um let's see what we got here. Yep, there's the new White House stage that we talked about, I talked about earlier in the video. And then uh, finally, we're gonna get to see some season one info. Right there, they're all out, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be four characters in season two, blah, 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 we get that. And then finally, yeah, there it is. All the season one passed, so uh, the additional battle stages are still coming, and another story mode is coming. I think they said that was in April. All right, 255 out one.